Crafty Mama here again. Come to do a couple of quick cards using um, buttons. I'm sure that we've all got a stash of buttons somewhere. This is mine. I've got a big jar full of them. And as I was going through them, I've realised horror upon horror. And they're all falling out. I haven't got any blue ones. No blue. There's some that look like blue, but they're not actually, they're purple. And the only red ones I've got are really dinky small ones. So I'm going to have to rectify that, aren't I, on my next spending spree. But anyway, that's where I keep all my buttons. There's a few extras in there. I've kept all the pinks apart. I don't know why, but it's easier to grab hold of them. So that's my button stash. So the first card we're going to make, and I have made this before, and I got the idea off Pinterest, and it's going to be a little piggy card. It's really easy. So the cardstock I'm using, it's just a four by four square card, just like that. So just fold it in half, just burnish the crease so that it's a good crease. And I use a lot of pre-folded, pre-scored cards, that, that's my general go-to. And I use these, I go to Craft UK Limited. I like their cards, I like the uh, quality of them. This one is actually a 250 GSM. And it's smaller than, I don't make small ones very often, but they're always handy to have. And if you need a quick, small um mat of white you can always cut one of these up it comes with the envelopes and i probably paid five pounds for that and there's 50 in the packet so it keeps you going for a while so we'll start off with this and then i'm going to do a mat of pink so i'll do that while we're here i think that one's a little bit thick I'll use this one. So double sided tape all the way around. One across the middle for look. And then just go around them all. With your boning tool just to make sure you've pushed all the air bubbles out and it's well adhered to the card because you don't want it falling off at a later date so then again as I always do just peel back part of it Take that off completely in the middle and then put it onto your card so that you've got an even layer all the way around. I have pre-cut this. I would say that the actual card base itself is 4 by 4 obviously and I think that the mat, I mean I only eyeballed it, but I would say that that's probably 3 and 7 eighths or 3 and 3 quarters however much you want your border to show so then my next layer is going to be another white so do the same again with that again one in the middle for look And again, just press all those down. And I've just realised something I've not done. I've stuck that down. And I've not, um, <laughs> not taken all the sticky backing off. So, yeah, so you stuck that down and you just pull those off. 
notch first layer done. So always make sure you've got your card the right way up. I mean, you could do this this way, or you could do it with the tenth fold. I, I, I prefer my cards that way. Um, I sometimes think with a tenth card, if you put too much on the front, too many layers, it just tends to squish down like that. So you just have to be careful what you're putting on the front of it. So again, next layer, same again. And just mat and layer that on again. Just eyeball it. Happy with that, and then just take the rest of the backing out. And so that's the basis of our card. Okay, so the next one is you're finally going to find out what's actually um, going on. I'm sorry, my rings keep bashing on the uh, glass mat is we're making a little piggy card and I've just realised I've not got my black pen out ready so let me just get that out I do apologise there we go with my black pro markers. No, that's yellow. <laughs> black. There we go. Right, so I've got my black pro marker. You'll see why in a minute. So, first of all, I'm going to stick these buttons down using glue dots. So, this one I've got quite a big glue dot for that one. So, that's the snout. Out down like that, and then for the these are the ears, not the eyes. You might think that they're the eyes, but they're not, they're the ears. Small glue dot, it's actually but yeah, I might have to put a bigger one on than that because it actually. You see the button's got an indentation on the other side. Um, just see if these are a bit bigger. Not really. Let's see what we can do. Perhaps put a couple on. That looks better. So I put two or three on. So hopefully it will stick down and stay stuck down. So that's one. These are the stick it glue dots and they are very sticky. Actually these are sticks too. I started off with stick it. These are sticks too, and they certainly do. <laughs> right, so that's the other ear. Okay. And then you just draw the eyes in, like that. Two eyes. And then we have a curly tail there. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do, so I've got it prepared, is to do a sentiment. So I've got one of the um, Tonic Tim Holtz stamping boards and I've already pre-prepared this. I just need to get a stamp pad. actually in my drawer my husband's been using it <laughs> but he's actually put it back in the drawer so he's been using some of my stamps to have a go with his watercolor painting so uh, we'll see what that turns out like 
So I've got my piece of card there. So if you can't see, I've got my piece of card there. My stamp there. I find this a godsend because I was hopeless at stamp stamping before that. I think I'll just give it another another go. And this is where these are really handy because if you're not happy with the result to start with, you can go over it again and your stamp's still in the same place. There we go, yeah, better. I'm happier with that. So that's that. So I'll just pop that away for now. And I'm going to put that across there, but it needs cutting down, and I'm just going to layer it with a little bit of pink. Okay, so. So I'm just going to mark it with a pencil where I'm going to cut it down to. So that's both ends. So this is my uh, X-cut guillotine which I've had forever in a day and it still chops brilliantly. I've got one of the slider ones but I'm not so good with that to be honest with you. It's um, and you have to replace the blades, and I've never had to replace this blade. So I've just chopped that down. I'm just going to put that into a piece of pink. So just pop some double sided tape on the back. Too wide? No, perfect. So that's perfect, that wide one. Sorry if I keep going off camera, I forget. Get involved and I forget that you're actually going to be watching this. So I'm just going to give that a little board around it. And then I'm going to trim that. I just trim by eye. I'm sorry if uh, you were hoping for some measurements, but I do. I just trim by eye, I'm afraid. But you're only leaving a little board around it. Just to make it pop a bit. So it's got that. So the pink is coming all the way through it and then that just wants I think shall we put that on dimensionals I think I'm going to put that on dimensionals let me just get those so this is my little pot of dimensionals that you've probably seen before so one on either end And one in the middle. And just take those off. Use this tool for so many things. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. And so we'll stick this on. And that's your card, your little piggy card, using buttons, so cute. I first saw this on Pinterest, so it's not my own um, design, but uh, I love it. It's quick and simple, so cute. And the last thing I need to do, as you've seen me do before, is just put my sticker on the back. And that's me. And as I say, they come with their envelope. So I've got the envelope here. 
and that's one card made okay so the next one it's a little bit more involved but um let's see how we go so it's another four by four card okay so i'm going to fold that burnish it so that it's nicely folded just get rid of my rubbish okay so my first layer is a nice lilac okay so I'm just going to um, stick that down and I can find my double sided tape that's it like I did on the first card. It's exactly the same as the beginning of the first card, but the um, embellishment is different. And you'll have to bear with me because I think there's a fiddly bit in it, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to sort that out. So I'm just pressing my tape down. Add it to my card. Again, the card base, it was the 4x4. Four four. Nice small card. So that's that. Then I've got a white layer. It's actually a, it's, um, a card, some cardstock that I've cut up, but I don't want that layer. I want the white, so... Uh, So stick your double-sided tape on the right side, Ros. You see, even us crafters do things wrong. I put toppers on upside down. You name it, I've done it, along with all the other crafters on YouTube, I expect. But hey, you can always sort it out. Nothing's ever a disaster that needs to go in the bin. You can always do something with it, even if it's not what you originally intended. Right, so that's my second layer. Right, so on this card, we are doing some balloons. So I need two right. So I need that's the end of that roll to first put couple of glue dots on the back of here okay a dear one of these strings baker's twine to it and then some more sticky dots Then that is going to go there, okay. The same with the next one, so it's the same process. A couple of sticky darts, piece of twine. A 
some more dots. I like the wind's getting up again out there. I don't know if you can hear it. I do apologise if you can, but that's it's just the wind blowing outside. It's a lovely sunny afternoon now, though. It's awful this morning. So that's that. That's that one. I'll have yellow next. A couple of glue dots. These are really sticky ones. Stick that on, a couple more dots. there so they're coming down like that if you can see the idea again this is another one I saw on Pinterest gotta love Pinterest so bear with me while I do these bits so then that one comes down like that so we're, we're going to gather these up here like that and we've done this last balloon So that's the last balloon and that's going up there. So then these strings all come down to meet each other. Okay. And we're going to put a bow over the top. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to adhere these down. think let's have some sticky dots so we want them there about there so let's put one no it's not coming up there we go. So we'll put one there. said that this was going to be a bit fiddly I don't know if there's an easier way to do it <clears throat> and then put some sticky dots over the top like that like that and then we're going to stick a bow on that and I think I will just trim this this up a bit so that's a bit better and let's find a bow. So bow. This is my box of bows. And I wonder what colour. I think these would probably be this 
some nice grey ones that I was gifted in a pocket letter. So there's that one. Or a yellow one. Is that a bit brighter? Or the purple. Perhaps the purple because then that's bringing out the uh, layer and, and the colour of the button. I think we'll go with the purple. I'm happy with that. If you don't agree, let me know. But it'll be too late because it'll be stuck down. But I'm, I'm happy with that. So, oh, it's already sticking, bless it. So, some more sticky dots on the back. So that's that, and then I should have put a stamp on before I put everything on, but I wasn't sure where everything was going to go. Um, I can do a matte and layer, I just need a small sentiment. Let me just have a look, just bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to, I think Frank's bunch is too big, isn't it? Unless I can pop it under there. I think we'll have just because. Just because. So I think this was a sponsor off a magazine. I can't remember which magazine because I've taken it apart and I've not, fortunately I've not written on it what it was so I should start doing that. Right, so we need another piece of white card. I should put a piece in here. Piece of white card, take that stamp off just because it doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm going to say, What a waste of card! I know, and then just ink that up. Just give it another thing. I think I'm in. I'm just about ready for a new ink pad. I don't know how long I've had this. Oh, that's better. So that's my just because. Take that off. Put that away. Okay, sorry. That was a loud bang. Okay, so now I need to trim this down. As much as I can. Because um, I haven't got a lot of space for it, a lot of room on my card for it. I think what I'll do is get my purple ink pad. 
I thought I was organised for this, but I wasn't. And I'm just going to put that down so you can see. I'm just going to put the edge up. Just distress the edge a bit. And then I don't have to um, mat and layer that bit, but I will put it on some dimensionals. with me. Let's put some dimensionals on it. So I've not checked whether I've got it the right way up. Thankfully I have. Oh dear. Right, where's my um, tin? Here it is. So I think we just need the one. Take that packing off. And pop that under there and there it is just because it's a bunch of balloons really simple really easy a little bit fiddly but uh, we got there in the end sticker on the back and there we go so we've got our bunch of balloons and our little piggy. So they're our makes for today. Um, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please hit subscribe and press the like button and also click on the bell to be notified of any other um, videos that I will be putting up. I've, I have got a haul video that I've not put up yet, so I need to do that, but I thought it was time that I did another make for you all. So that's it from me for now and I'll see you again next time. Bye!